Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Trickster VR Horde Attack, a free-to-play game on the Steam Store that was released by publisher developer Trickster Games. Released today, June 21st, 2019, for the Valve Index, HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. I will put a link in my video. We can download this free-to-play game. Uh, this game is basically a demo for Trickster VR. Now, I own Trickster VR, and if you already own Trickster VR, there probably is not much reason to download this free-to-play game. The only reason I can imagine you'd want to download this game if you already have Trickster is just to climb these specific leaderboards. As far as free-to-play, it'll probably have a, a larger player base, so the leaderboards will probably be a little bit tougher to climb, assuming that a lot of people download this game that's free to play and uh, make those leaderboards challenging so you might want to grab it just for that reason but other than that there really is not much of a reason to uh, download this if you already own Trickster VR uh, this is obviously a demo so that means there's uh, less gameplay available uh, less content overall this is just a snippet of Trickster VR but it's a very good snippet. This can keep you entertained for hours. Um, this horde mode, this wave mode is pretty entertaining. Keep in mind there's only one environment, but there are lots of different types of enemies that come up uh, the farther you get into the waves. Lots of different weapons to pick up and try. Uh, from the bow and arrow to the crossbow to different sword and board. Uh, other melee attacks, there's even like a frying pan if you want to, if you want to try that out. Uh, two magical wands that do all kinds of fire attacks. Then you have your sidearms, your little throwing daggers or your magical scrolls that you can use. So uh, there's lots of different things to do and lots of different styles to keep this game interesting. And finding out which is the most effective way to dispatch all the enemies. Now for the most part, I'll be honest, usually the way that you'll kill more enemies is through melee, sword and board, uh, just because unless you have upgrade your bow and arrow, uh, they're not going to do much damage to the enemy, so that's especially early on, uh, your, your sword and board will do much damage than the bow and arrow, which uh, it's not just the amount of damage that uh, arrows do, but just in general, if you hit an armored enemy, you're not going to do any damage, so that's easier to do with the... Uh, melee as far as avoiding uh, the armor and just causing damage which is probably what you want to do and also mitigating damage with the shield now even the the sword and board here and the bow and arrow they all have special attacks that charge up uh, with successful attacks so with the sword and board you can basically throw your shield after you kill a certain amount of enemies and you can kill lots of enemies by, by throwing the shield it's like a little disc that you'll throw and with the bow and arrow, you get those uh, arrow volleys that you uh, get to throw out and, and dispatch several enemies at once, or just kill one strong one really quick. Uh, there's even boss type enemies, and I don't mean like a boss fight, but just you know enemies that are stronger, that have higher health points, that do a lot more. And you'll see that I came across one of those boss enemies, and that's when I died because he was, there was, he was just surrounded by his allies, and it was just a little too difficult for me to get at him. Uh, with the weapons that I had, it just wasn't doing enough damage to uh, to dispatch to kill that enemy. I should have saved up some of my special abilities for him, and I didn't do that. Uh, as you'll see early on in in the early part of the video, I showed an error that that I came across, and that's basically uh, I was just playing normally, and for whatever reason, I rose up with the part of the islands that spawn. And I couldn't get back down, so I was basically just floating in the air in this, uh, and I couldn't get out of that area. Awesome. Luckily, though, all that had to happen was for uh, the Guardian to go down. Now, that's who you're protecting the Guardian through all these waves. And once the Guardian went down, I, the game just restarted, and I was able to restart normally. So it wasn't uh, a totally game-breaking bug, but it's definitely an annoying bug uh, where you just... Take are taken out of bounds and you can't get back into bounds to play the the wave uh, For free to play this is very high quality. Uh, it ran smoothly for me uh, It's a lot of fun. The physics are, are not the best 
So if you're expecting realism as far as, you know, using the melee or using the bow and arrow, this is all arcade hack and slash fun. It's, it's not realistic. And you'll see, especially when there are lots of enemies and you swing your sword, it'll do all kinds of uh, funny things. Uh, sometimes it'll just seem like it just bounces off nothing or you're unable to tell what you hit or how you got hit. Uh, especially when in situations like this when there's just lots of enemies around and you can't really see anything and you just waving your hand aimlessly and hoping stuff dies but usually it'll be you that, that dies uh, if you don't have a special ability saved up so I do recommend uh, Trickster VR uh, Horde Attack uh, it's a lot of fun for a free to play game and if you don't own this it's a must download but if you already own Trickster you probably want to pass on it I'm Fast Lawyer have a nice day goodbye